Yo, what's good everyone? Today I'm going to be breaking down some of my favorite DraftKings plays for tonight's five game slate in the NHL. Let's dive right into it. And what I'm going to do here is give you a high level overview of my cheat sheet, breaking down a couple of my favorite line stacks and individual plays. But before we do that here, I got to give a huge shout out to someone in my discord called Lucky One, who turned $4.44 into $10,000 on the opening night in the NHL on FanDuel. If you have not joined my discord channel yet, you can see it mentioned above. You got to do that. It's completely free to join. We now have over 700 people in there talking DFS and sports betting. If you you want to join that there's a link to do so in the description below as well as in the pinned comment below with that being said let's take a look at the cheat sheet here we're going to kick it off with a couple of line stacks that i like for tonight now i do want to mention here we have the three best and most fantasy productive players in the nhl on this slate tonight that's connor mcdavid nathan mckinnon and austin matthews now you don't see those three highlighted on the spreadsheet here but I will never blame you for playing any one of those guys. And they'll be in my lineups tonight as well. But those are usually three guys that we don't need to talk about because they are so popular and they're so damn good at hockey. One line stack that I think could fly under the radar here tonight is that first line for the Montreal Canadiens with Suzuki centering Caulfield and Slavkovsky. Slavkovsky is just far too cheap here at $3,900. Suzuki maybe even at $5,600. Caulfield is priced right, but these three do have some really nice upside. Caulfield's a natural shooter. Suzuki's a natural playmaker. And Slavkovsky does a little bit of everything. So that's a line stack again that could fly under the radar tonight. And I like them in tournaments. Plus you get the bonus of all three of these guys playing together on that number one power play. Another line stack that I like here tonight is that first line for the Vegas Golden Knights. I'm looking at the Colorado Avalanche roster right now, and that first line, again, with Miko Ranton and Nathan McKinnon, yeah, Kale McCarr on the blue line looks really good, but the depth on that team kind of scares me a little bit. Not overly concerned about them being too great, especially early in the season, so I think Vegas could take advantage of that, especially with this first line here, Eichel, Stone, and Barbashev. Now, you'll see Barbashev play on the number two power play, but Eichel and Stone are going to play together on the number one power play. Now, folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate that it's completely free to do and i'm gonna have hockey content coming out for you guys all year long all right now diving into some of these individual plays here i'm gonna kick it off with the forwards kind of name dropped him already in william nylander the toronto maple leafs look Austin Matthews is going to be super popular on this slate, especially playing against the Montreal Canadiens. And I think William Nylander, and you can even stack him up with John Tavares, will probably fly under the radar a little bit. I don't think they're going to be super under-owned by any means, but considering the price here and considering Matthews will be popular on his team, again, he could fly under the radar a little bit. He's a natural shooter, natural goal scorer, and someone who can hit 4x value at that price. Nazem Kadri here. I don't expect the Calgary Flames to be super popular on this slate, but again, just like the Colorado Avalanche, I looked at this team for the Vancouver Canucks. I think they're going to take a step back here this year. And again, it's early in the season. Usually these first two, three weeks, there's a lot of chaos in the NHL. Teams figuring stuff out, shuffling lines. But I think Nas here is one of the most consistent guys in the NHL. He knows his role, plays up on that first line and number one power play. And at $6,600, again, someone who could get you 4X value. Now we're getting into the 4K plays here. And I love the upside all three of these guys offer. We got Nikolai Ehlers here, the Winnipeg Jets playing on that second line and number one power play. You got Alexa. Lafreniere playing on the first line with Panarin and Trocek, which was one of the best lines in hockey all of last year. He'll also play on the number two power play. And then Jeff Skinner is going to start the season playing with Leon Dreisettle and Victor Arvidsson. I almost highlighted that as a line stack, but... They're also really new together, right? Probably going to take a few games to figure out that chemistry. But Jeff Skinner is someone who's a 30-plus goal scorer in the NHL. This is just a little too cheap, in my opinion, for someone who's going to play big minutes with Leon Dreisaitl and also play on that number two power play for Edmonton. Now, moving on to the defenseman here. And as always, I'm trying to target defensemen who play 20-plus minutes a night, play on the number one power play or number two power play, or play on the penalty kill and have the upside of blocking three shots to get you that three-point DraftKings bonus. You could argue that I played Evan Bouchard more than any other player on DraftKings last year, and I'm looking at this price of $6,500 and go, yep, DraftKings got this wrong again. He should be in the 7K range. He will play 20 minutes tonight. He's going to play on that number one power play for the Edmonton Oilers, which is one of the best in the league. 
I'll be going back to him once again here in his first game of the season. Now, I like Noah Hannafin, even though it looks like Shea Theodore is going to be starting on the number one power play for the Vegas Golden Knights. Hannafin is a guy who can rack up DraftKings in a number of ways, likes to shoot the puck, isn't afraid to block shots, and can get on the score sheet. Now, Ekholm here. Not often I do a little defenseman stack, but you could stack them up with Bouchard, being that they play together. You don't have to go that route either. You could do a little mini stack with him and Jeff Skinner, being that those two play on the number two power play, but another well-rounded defenseman who can rack up DraftKings points in a number of ways. And then wrapping it up there with Lane Hudson of the Montreal Canadiens as a value play at $2,800. This kid should play 18 plus minutes here tonight, get time on the number two power play, super offensively gifted, and I suspect his price is only going to go up as the season progresses. And then I got a couple of goaltenders there for you. Now, a bit of a rough start to the goalies yesterday. I went more of the contrarian route, being that it was just a three-game slate. That wasn't the best of ideas, but overall, the goalie position was just gross yesterday. Four of the six goaltenders that played on that slate scored six points or less. So I'm going to go more of the safer route here on this five-game slate, starting with Igor Shosturkin of the New York Rangers. Now, just yesterday, this guy turned down an eight-year, $88 million contract extension, which would have paid him $11 million per year, making him the highest paid goaltender in NHL history. If you're going to turn that down, you better show up on opening night. I also like Stuart Skinner here of the Edmonton Oilers. I'm just high on the Oilers in general here this year. I know it's early in the season. We're working out a lot of kinks here in the first couple of weeks, but Stuart Skinner went on a Stanley Cup run. He's a young goaltender, and I like him at that price of 7900 And as always, going to wrap up the spreadsheet here with three low-priced options or sub-4K forward plays. First guy I got there is Ricard Raquel, the Pittsburgh Penguins, playing on their second line with Malkin and up on their number one power play look good in preseason two was shooting the puck a lot and finding the back of the net Riley Smith here the New York Rangers you got a little revenge narrative here playing against the team that just traded him to New York obviously priced at $3,300 playing on that second line was a bandage at and Kreider and is going to get time on their number two power play and then Daniel Sprung I like the upside here considering the price natural shooter natural goal scorer going to start the season on that second line with Elias Pettersson and on their number two power play all right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks, and let's win some money on this five-game NHL slate.